Hi Indonesian learners, before we start our lesson, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to support this channel. And don't forget to turn on the notification to keep you updated on new lessons videos. If you think this video is very helpful to learn Indonesia, don't forget to like and share this video. You also can follow us on Instagram and Facebook page for daily vocabulary and phrases. Hai pemelajar bahasa Indonesia, apa kabar? Sudah siap untuk pelajaran hari ini? Have you heard these words? Cantik, indah, bagus, cakep, ganteng. And do you know the difference? And in what kind of situations you can use these words? If you want to say you are beautiful, can you say kamu indah? Or if you want to say a beautiful dress, can you say gaun bagus? In Indonesian, we have many words just to say beautiful. You will learn how to say beautiful in Bahasa Indonesia in many ways and also learn the meaning of each vocabulary to say beautiful and how to use it correctly. First, cantik. Normally, Indonesians use cantik for female's face. So, if we want to say that girl is beautiful, then we can say perempuan itu cantik. And for face for man, we can use the word ganteng or tampan. So we can say, laki-laki itu ganteng. It means that man is handsome. The informal way to say beautiful girl and man is cakep. And cakep has no gender, so we can use it for woman and man. So we can say, Perempuan dan laki-laki itu cakep. Can we use cantik for stuff or scenery? Like if you want to say that stuff is beautiful or a beautiful view? Yes, we can. But the stuff and the view must have something specific or aesthetic that makes it very beautiful. For example, if you want to say a beautiful city, we can use the word cantik if that city has something aesthetic, such as historical building, beautiful scenery, or beautiful architecture. So, we can say kota cantik. But if the city is beautiful because it just looks good, such as it has modern building, modern transportation, it's very clean and orderly, then we should use the word bagus not cantik. So, instead of saying kota cantik, we should say kota bagus. The next question is, if we can use cantik for female face and for stuff, can we use cakep too for stuff? Can we say kota cakep? Well, actually, many Indonesians will not say kota cakep. The usage of cakep to describe another thing than a person is not common. And how about kota ganteng or tampan? Well, ganteng and tampan are only used for male face. So, we also cannot say kota ganteng. How about animals? Can we use cantik and ganteng to describe beautiful animals? We can use cantik and ganteng too for animals. So if the dog is a male dog and he is a good looking dog, then we can say anjing itu ganteng. It means that male dog is beautiful. And if the dog is a female dog, then we can say anjing itu cantik. Second, indah. Inda is used to describe scenery or stuff, but it's not common to describe face. Inda has more general meaning than cantik. As long as it looks good in eyes and mind without something aesthetic, then we still can use Inda. That's why we also can say Kota Inda to describe a modern city. Although the city doesn't have anything special like artistic and historical buildings or beautiful nature. Because the word inda is more general, so to say beautiful dream, we use inda, not mimpi cantik. 
And if you want to say beautiful poem, then we have to say puisi indah, not puisi cantik. Because dream and poem are beautiful in our minds, but it doesn't have something aesthetic in our eyes. That's why we cannot use cantik. The next one is bagus. Bagus is more general than indah. It's used to describe something that it's good, although it doesn't look good and aesthetic in our eyes or beautiful in our minds. For example, if you want to say that the quality of this cell phone is good, then we can say handphone bagus. We also can say buku bagus if the content of the book is good to read. Next question, can we say handphone indah or buku indah? It depends on how it looks. If we put beautiful decorations on our cell phone so it looks good, beautiful and aesthetic, then we can say handphone cantik or handphone indah. And if we read a book that is written with beautiful words and sentences so it's beautiful in our minds, then we can say tulisan buku ini indah. It means this book has beautiful writing. But we cannot say buku cantik because it doesn't look beautiful in our eyes, it's just beautiful in our minds. Therefore, in Indonesian, we have to say bagus to say beautiful idea, work, or plan. Because it doesn't have something aesthetic and it doesn't look beautiful in our minds and eyes too. So we should say ide bagus, kerja bagus, rencana bagus. We cannot use cantik or indah. However, even though bagus has more general meanings, same as indah, we cannot use bagus for face. So we cannot say perempuan itu bagus. To say that girl is beautiful. Well, after watching this video, I hope you can say beautiful in Bahasa Indonesia with different vocabulary and you can use that vocabulary correctly. Terima kasih sudah nonton video ini dan sampai jumpa lagi di video selanjutnya. Dadah!